Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome to Little Sla YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about the latest version of Neoload, which is Neoload 9.0. We will see how to download and install Neoload 9.0 and we will also see what is new in the latest version of Neoload. So to download the latest version, let's go to tricentis.com and under that, go to products and under products, let's choose Tricentis Neoload and then let's click on try it free and under this, let's enter all these details and once we click request trial, we will get the trial version. So let me do it and once we enter the details, we have other options where under the support hub tricentis.com we have the list of files where we can download so under this i'm choosing the latest version which is the 9.0 and uh, under neoload 9.0.1 installer windows for 64 bit let me choose it and automatically the download has started Let's now open the file and do the installation. The installation has started. And now we are in the first step of choosing a language. So let's choose English as the language and click on OK. Let me click next to proceed with the setup wizard. Let's click on agree and then I'm clicking on next. And first I'm installing the controller and I'm clicking on next. And under this we have three tasks to choose to install the new load. So we have the real browser, we have the van emulation and we have the terminal services. And for now, so before that, let's see what are the options we have so unchecking this option this real browser option will disable real browser recording and also decrease the installation folder size and then we have the van emulation we have the terminal services and let me click next and the file the program will be installed under your C program files let me click on next so we have this Neolo 9.0 getting installed. And now the setup has complete and let's run the Neoload by clicking on finish. And since we are starting it for the first time, the Neolo 9.0, we might get this pop up and let's choose private networks and click allow access so now we have successfully installed neoload 9.0 and let's see what are the few things which neoload the tricenters have, co have come up with a new idea so neoload 9.0 has come up with real browser recording technology so which is the recording capabilities are improved with a new new real browser feature set and this simplifies the design for dynamic web-based applications and it also accelerates authoring in addition this allows us to capture the end user experience metrics so that we are going to see in our future videos on another video of how to record a, an application using the real browser recording technology and also we will do a parameterization and a correlation with the latest Neoload 9.0 and let's see what are all the other improvements with the Neoload 9.0 when compared to the all other previous versions and next we have cloud platform which is additional to new seven applications so we have the cloud platforms which generates the test load from seven additional locations which are in Delhi, Madrid, Melbourne, Milan, Paris, Santiago and Toronto and on top of it we have the data 
dog monitor and this can now natively connect to our data dog observability and apm platform and this way we can get all the metrics our team needs for our performance engineering during a new load test and on top of it we could see this connect to new load web in our new version which has come on the home screen so when we click on connect to new load so it automatically takes us to the new load web and in case if we have this on premises connections and we have this access token we can automatically provide them here and then we can connect to the new load web and in, there are two options again we have this SaaS option which is software as a service and then we have this on premise option as well so for now let's choose this SaaS and we'll click apply and click OK and we will also see about various other settings we have in the general settings part in our upcoming videos and apart from the connecting to new load web we have this rest api settings something like the data exchange we have the design api we have the run api and we have the results api and let's see in our upcoming videos on how to use these apis uh, the new load apis and let's see with various other examples on how to use it and what are all the uses of them so we have this data exchange api so this is actually a restful data service which is based on the open data protocol that we can use to send data from a third party tool into near load and then uh, something like the open data protocol we have this json formatting and then we have this design api and this helps us to make it possible to trigger from a rest api on the controller we will see that how to how to do use this design api and then we have this runtime api and this starts or stops a load test from new load controller and then we have this results api which generates and downloads the reports so we can see that new load has taken the maximum potential of this api and has implemented all of them wherever possible and however possible into this neolo 9.0 which makes it more efficient and effective there are various other apis as well something like the javascript api which we normally have and then we have this data format extension we have this custom action api we have data exchange api so new load 9.0 has come up with loads and loads of new extensions and api so we will see them one by one with different and interesting examples so until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from vasan shanmugam and little's law